Number one, Georgia showing why it is the top team in the land. Absolutely throttling Florida 34 to 7 at TII Bank Field on Saturday. Now, as for Florida head coach Dan Mullen, he's once again feeling the pressure post game. His message to fans hang on. As the rope slips through your hands, you can just let it either drop it, and that ain't the answer, or you just grab tight. I don't drop the rope. I'm not going to let you even rip it out of my hands. You could drag me around by my face if you want, but I am going to let it squeeze it and let it go. I'm not going to let any inch of that rope go, and I know our players won't either. In two minutes, Georgia took away any hope Florida had at pulling off the upset. An Anthony Richardson fumble inside the Gators' 10-yard line, the catalyst for a 21 to nothing Georgia run. And it can't be when something negative happens. Um, oh, no. It's got to be if something negative happens, it's going to be, I got your back. I'm going to make this play, and I'm going to make sure nothing. I'm going, to, I'm going to be the one to stomp it out at this point. Now, speaking of Richardson, he did get the nod from Mullen on Saturday, but did leave and ultimately not return with an injury. While he showed some bright spots, he still has plenty to learn. Okay, he's a strong kid, you know, mentally. And um, I think, you know, this game is going to be a great learning point for him. He's going to learn. This is only going to help him as a player in the future. Georgia moves to 8-0 on the season and will be the undisputed number one team when the college football playoff rankings are released early next week. Now, as for Florida, it drops to 4-4 four and four with its season most certainly stuck in the swamp. At TII Bank Field, Andrew Badillo, First Coast Sports.